Hello and great greetings. Hello, hello. Greetings. Uh, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, what should we do? <laughs> what we should are... we do? What should we do? I am asked that every day, all day long. What should we do? What should we go? What am I doing? Oh, the thing is, have faith in knowing that you as an individual have some answers within you, as Katumi said. But if you need answers from me, I can tell you what to do. Pray for the answers. I can tell you that you are going to be fine. I can tell you that. I, because I know those things. But I cannot tell you how to be fine. You must be fine the way that you, you choose to be fine. I can actually come to you and change you if I want to, because you are a creation from God. But why would I want to do that? I want to see who you are. I don't want you to be a copy of me. I want to be who, to, to see who you develop into. You are an interesting person. I myself is interesting, but you don't want to be me. You want to be you. So if I tell you all the answers you do want to know, then you won't be you anymore. You'll be more like me. So I just want you to develop and grow and learn how to be you. And sure, you will not be sick, you will not die, you will not do this, blah, blah, blah. I can tell you many, many things, but do you want to be more like me? Maybe, maybe a little bit, but not completely. Now, there is a part of me that says, everybody should be like me, everybody should be like me, but, the other part of me says, if everybody like me, I would be bored. So I cannot have that. But I will tell you what to do. You have gathered your food. You have done the things that you have need to do so that you will be safe from this, whatever it is that is happening on your earth. It's in minuscule compared to many things happening in other places in the universe. But it is what you have to do to protect yourself it's the right thing to do. It's a log logical thing to do. It's, it's godlike in the, th the sense that I gave you sensibilities and that you are able to use them. And I gave you a soul and you are able to feel that. Yes, yes. And be happy and sexual and all those things. Hey, thank me for those things. Hey, yes, yes. So, um, but... I can tell you all the things to do, but you're already doing them. Right. Yeah, uh, our biggest concern is money at the moment. And I wonder if maybe it's, uh, it's a waste of energy to be after money at the moment because they can, can all disappear very, very soon. It can all disappear. Money is very fleeting. Go in the basement and make some. That's what I say. No, but anyway, um, it, it makes me laugh because somebody will go in the basement and make some, and then uh, they will go to jail and be fed all the meals that they need. It's the way you look at things. It is how you perceive the world around you that makes things uh, what they are. So look at the world around you and perceive it in the most possible and most justified way for you. So is money necessary? Of course it is. But will you go without? No. You will have some. But everything is coming down financially, everything falling down, everybody worried about money, but you are all becoming more equal financially. Oh, oh how terrible. How terrible. I am just looking there and saying, everyone is, has less money now. Everybody has less money. Oh, how terrible. So it's, you are more equal playing field now. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's, I, I completely agree. It just, you know, 
I spent I, so much time I, trying to earn money and now maybe I shouldn't. You, I do not know what to say to you because I do not know about money as much as I should maybe. But I do know that everyone depends too much on it. They've been too much dependent, too much. So maybe this is a time when you depend on growing your garden, growing your uh, thought processes, doing things differently. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Now, uh, nothing is ever, ever, we will make you succeed if you believe. Succeed and believe. Believe and succeed. Now, this crisis is sexy, right? Uh, there is some sex energy in it. Of course, there's That's sex energy in everything because in creation, what happens? Sex energy is in creation. Creation is made by sex energy in your world. Creation of children, sex energy, right? Oh, right. and also with all the energies of life, sex energy is part of it because sex energy is part of an energy that is part of the universe, not just part of each individual, but part of the universe, otherwise it would not exist. Right, so is it a shame to think about sex when things go, go, go so bad? Can you help yourself? I guess, yeah, that's, that's controllable. Why? Why control it? If it comes to your mind, why control it? What, what is the reason for controlling it? Does it become um, uh, harsh? Does it become violent? Does it become uh, something that is un, uh, unacceptable? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the human side. You want to take care of people and also you want sex at the same time. And that's- uh, But you the, don't, you are not out of control. You are not out of control. Your thoughts are not out of control. Sex is part of your mind. That is part of everybody's mind at the certain stages, periods. Sometimes men think about sex many, 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 many times a day. So oh, is that wrong? It's just men. That's all it is. That's what it is. Yes. So it is a creative energy. So instead of having sex, you eat something or you... You make something, or you build something, or you learn something. You you take it, you take it and make it into something else creative. Right. So that brought us to the idea of uh, uh, Brahma versus Shiva, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like it looks like it's a, it's a dance of Shiva that we observe at the moment, right? A dance of Shiva. He can't help himself. He's a good dancer. Why not show off, right? Right. So that's, that's, that's the way of all the gods who are themselves. They have certain talents, so they must use them. They cannot hide them because, why hide them? Because if they do not show them, then they are not being them true self, and they will be deceiving people eventually. So you must be your true self, otherwise it's deceiving. But you don't have to tell everybody you're thinking about sex, but you can be allowed. Uh, so what's your relationship to Shiva and Brahma? They are part of me. Uh-huh. They are all part of me. Shiva with his angry temper and dancing and all his shenanigans there, he's part of me. And Brahma with his uh, very erotic things and uh, the way he is and his loving passion and all that thing, he is part of me. So I'm somehow very attracted to Brahma and uh, uh, very sort of repelled from Shiva. But that's is because you're, because Shiva's a little bit more angry, a little bit more violent. And you are very, very, very not any of those things. Right. So <coughs> um, am I a part of like Brahma tribe or something like that? 
Well, you are part of me. Okay. Which is part of all, but there's parts of me that you don't like, and there's parts of you that you don't like. So those parts of you that you don't like are the same parts of me that you don't like. Right. Think of it that way, all right? Right, right. And Vishnu was boring for, for most of the time, except uh, now I think uh, he is very, would be very respected and uh, if things, if good things stay, that would be very nice. Absolutely. Everyone has their place and their reasons for Vishnu because there are those that will only respect Vishnu because that's the way they are. They're quiet, they're respectful, they're very prayerful, they're very mindful. And so Vishnu is who they come to. But he's also part of me. Yeah, for me, Vishnu is bureaucracy, but uh, sometimes bureaucracy is okay. Mm, I don't look at him that way, but maybe you can see him that way. Like in China, they, uh, they're in control. Yes. And, and that's sort of pretty but much Vishnu. Bureaucracy, mm, that's a little harsh, but all right, if you see it. All right. Um, so I need to close. Uh, do you have like a closing speech for um, or prayer or guidance for, um, for the listeners? Of course, of course, of course. T -t -t -t. I will do a prayer for them. Oh, yes. All the peoples, be happy. Be joyful and lift up your voices in song and in dance and lift everything about you to God. For I want to see all of the things that are positive about you. But yet, there are many things about you that I also am. Your negativity, your anger, and things of this nature. Remember to keep them in check so that I can lift you up into the higher realms of your understanding, into the higher realms of your joy and thoughtfulness, into the higher realms of your sexualities and your just mundane life. I want to be there in your spiritual highs, but I also will pull you and help you in your spiritual lows. I am with you always. But remember to call on me. Remember to praise me for all the things that I have given you. Because it's not that I want your praise so much, but it is good to know that you appreciate things. It is good to know that you appreciate things. Much love to you. And in any way that you feel wanting to acknowledge my presence, Reach out and do it now. Scream out, speak out. Reach with your feet, your arms, your eyes, whatever it is. All of you is part of me and all of me is part of you. Amen. Amen. Hello? Hey, Jim, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Have a good session? Yep. Um, two weeks from now? Yes. All right. Definitely. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.